reviewoutlaw.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to do a 360 wake surfing. Um, now if you're not familiar with wake surfing, it's basically when you make your wave big enough behind your boat so you can um, surf the wave. And you start off with a rope and basically uh, once you get your balance right, you can throw the rope in and you're surfing. A couple key components to wake surfing is making sure you have an inboard engine. That way your prop is underneath the boat and there's no possibility of falling in the prop, uh, losing fingers, legs, things like that. If you don't have an inboard engine, do not attempt that. Also, most mostly what is required is a ballast system where you can fill your boat with water. Um, so that's other key requirement and a boat with a good amount of horsepower. Um, they make specialized boats for wake surfing. This particular boat that I'm using is a Axis A24. Uh, I have all the ballast tanks uh, filled and some additional sacks um, basically also filled, giving me even a larger wave. That also extends the wave, making it longer. The longer the wave, the easier it's going to be to do the 360. Um, you don't want your wave to be short and tall. You want it nice and long, but at the same time tall enough where you can get a nice curl up that wave. So I'm going to get, talk to you about a couple things that I've learned. Um, first thing that I've learned, it's not easy to do a 360 wave surfing. If anyone tells you that, they're wrong. <laughs> Unless they're extremely well balanced or something like that, or just really lucky to do it again and again, not easy. Uh, I've wake surf for many years, wakeboarded for many years, and also snowboarded for many years, and I've, I've been able to do a 360 on snowboard and wakeboard, no no problems um, on the surface, and this compared to that is much more difficult. It's because you have that lip, that wave, it makes it very easy to slide out. And also there's a lot of things going on. Um, having the right board is important, the right speed, uh, and just really practicing. So one of the things I can say, the easiest, uh, thing to do is basically um, when you go out and you want to definitely you have your mindset on, on doing the, the 360 give yourself at least 10 times and do those 10 times right in a row record it if you can and basically you're gonna play that back after you're done and see what you did and in this video I'm going to show you a couple successful 360s and a couple fails I'm going to try to explain why the fails didn't work and what was successful about doing it correctly. So you can kind of compare your falls to the successful ones or your falls to other people falling and maybe give you an idea of what you're doing wrong. Um, so one thing that, that you should know, I had to do this at least about 150 to 200 times before I got one. And once you get one, it's not like you can just whip them out and just do them again and again. I'm maybe about um, at seven, out of, uh, seven out of 10 times, maybe five out of 10 times, I'll make it um, right now, and that's after <clears throat> many, many, many attempts. So one thing is you have to dedicate time to it and just, just not be willing to give up. Um, so that's why I recommend every time you go out, give yourself 10 tries and then give up. Don't keep pushing it because you just get frustrated and never want to do it again. So just give yourself 10 times. You don't get it, no problem. Once you get about 200 or 20 attempts, you know, each one 10 times, you're probably going to get it. Um, so a couple of things that, you, that are important to, um, to kind of notice is you want to basically wake surfing for a while before you attempt this. A couple of key components is you want to be able to go far back, as far back on the wave as possible, and then go forward. Far back and then forward. This is something you want to practice a lot before you do these 360s, or you're just wasting your time. But you basically need to paddle back into the wave. Um, so practice paddling. Some people can go really far back and forward, but as soon as they put their hand forward and start that paddling motion, they fall. The reason that you ha have to paddle, and you don't necessarily have to paddle, but it gets you in the right body position to be leaning forward to get forward in that wave. Because as soon as you do 360, you naturally drift to the back of the wave. So basically, you want to, as soon as you spin, start paddling. Another thing that's important is when you do spin, you're carving out and then carving up the wave, give yourself a nice hard paddle. Use two hands, not one, and really, really hard so you get a nice spin. You can go too hard with it, and then you just you do almost a double 360, um, a 720, but you do want to really, a lot of people just don't hit that wave hard enough, and they don't nearly spin hard enough. 
Um, so make sure you hit that wave hard. You're, you are going to slash yourself in the eyes. You're not going to be able to see anything, which is hard to recover from that point. So as soon as you splash, the water's going to go in your eye. You're going to have to try to spot your landing. But basically, here's what I, what I recommend. The three main things to, to remember is paddle, paddle, paddle. So just keep saying to yourself, paddle, paddle, paddle. Um, stay low. Bend down, stay low. Don't stay, stand tall because as soon as you stand tall, you're going to get washed out of the wave because you're naturally going to be leaning on your back leg and that's going to pull you out of the wave. And then stay centered. Don't lean too far forward, backwards, left, right. You want to stay centered, shoulders over your, your feet. <clears throat> your main body weight needs to be centered over the board. So keep saying those things. Paddle, stay low, stay centered as you're trying to attempt to do these 360s. And it should definitely help you out. Now, um, you'll hear people yell, paddle, 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 because you'll forget to paddle. So you'll do the 360, you're like, yes, I did it. And you'll forget to paddle and you get washed out. So naturally, whether you landed it perfectly or you didn't land it, just paddle. I don't care if, if you, you pretty much made it, definitely, definitely, definitely paddle. Um, a couple other things to be careful about is the rope. Uh, in some of these videos, I'm using the rope that has a handle on it. <clears throat> or later in the season, we did have somebody that got the handle uh, caught around their hand. So be very, very careful and it actually dragged them for a bit. So we had to quickly stop the engine, get them out of the water. It swole up their hand, really hurt for, for a couple weeks. And we had to get a new rope that didn't have that handle, just had the thick, thick rope. So really be careful uh, because when you do these spins and things like that, especially if you haven't thrown the rope out, I don't rec recommend trying any tricks when you have the rope uh, with you. And even when you throw the rope away, just Make sure it gets out of the way because it can wrap around your hand and then drag you if it makes a knot around your hand. A um, couple other things is if you can have a friend or someone record you in slow motion, that will dramatically help you see what's wrong with 360s. It's very hard to see what you're doing wrong when it's very fast. You need to slow that video down so you can see where you're leaning, are you centered, things of that nature. Um, and compare yourself to other people. Another thing you want to work on is getting good carves, carve up and down, really do some deep, long carves. That's going to help you stay balanced on the board. So when you 360, you don't just fall in the water, you're balanced over your board, you're, you've got that uh, muscle memory on what to do properly. Um, so we're going over the tips. Uh, a couple other things that you want to try is your foot position. There's a lot of different, again, a lot of different components to the 360. The foot position is important. I prefer my toes to be very, very, very close to the edge of the board. Almost um, not even on the pad anymore, just my toe is touching the fiberglass. So put your feet really close. What that's going to do is give you more stability because your feet are closer to that curve on the edge. If you put your feet in the middle of the board, you don't actually have as much control. And you, you want to play around with that. Put your feet all the way to one end, put your feet uh, in the middle and then put your feet all the way to the other end and see which side you have the most control on. It's going to depend on if you're riding goofy or, and, and switch. That's another thing is you want to try to practice riding switch. Uh, get yourself up on the, the wrong side of the wave or the wrong side of the board or backwards. That way you're a little bit comfortable with riding backward, backwards, uh, just your uncomfortable switch position. So practice that. Um, you don't have to be great at it to do 360, but doing a little bit is going to give you just that little bit edge when you do the 360 because you're you are riding backwards for a quick maybe one second, maybe less than that. But um, just to be able to do that is a nice thing that and it kind of splits up just trying 360s, trying 360s. Um, there is a quick pressure change of your front foot to your back foot when you do the 360. It's very hard to kind of you know kind of remember that but it's something that you need to do is quickly let the pressure off one foot and then when you're turning put the pressure on the other foot and then when you turn the third time put your foot pressure back um, so basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over some of these videos and kind of show you what we did right and what we did wrong and then you can compare yourself to them and then maybe get a better idea of um, how to do the 360. Okay, here I am. I'm going to do a successful 360. As you see, I'm staying low. I'm staying tucked down. I keep paddling, keep paddling. This wasn't as good as the second one attempt here. I'm going to hit this one again. This time I'm, gonna, I'm not paddling as much. I'm more centered, more leveled, leaning forward from the back, going towards the front, 
360 spin, staying nice and low, paddling right away. I can tell they get, get it right away. So that was the nice second attempt. Now um, I'm going to slow these down. So actually I'm going to do a zoom in first so we can kind of see, get a closer look of what I'm doing here. And that was my third attempt. Staying low. Feet are towards the edge. Got a nice spin there. Do it, doing it quick. And we can see very slow now. One hand's just about touching. Take two hands, push them in, big scoop. Letting myself spin around, slowly looking for that front again. Getting my paddling, even, I'm not even fully turn around again. And I start paddling. Getting my balance, looking for the back of the boat. And you, you don't wanna quit too early paddling or leaning forward or, or you just get scooped out. Now we're gonna look at a couple of falls here just to give you an idea of what some of these people might or might not be doing right. Uh, again, one more time, just a successful one so you can see the proper way to do it. And this, this board has a double fins on each side. Um, pumping, this is back and forth to get back into the wave. All right, so here's um, Vin. He's gonna do a, not a successful one. He was just starting out here. He gets one hand in. He's regular, so he's on the opposite side. He's leaning too far. Um, on one side, as you can see, you look at the slow mo here. Scooping, now he's using one hand, not two hands to scoop. He's got a pretty good spin, but he doesn't spin all the way around. He's doing more of a 180, and that's throwing him off balance. So if, if you practice going swish a little bit more, you have better luck. This is Hank here, uh, and that was, he just did about a 180. Okay, he's got a nice 360 now, staying balanced the whole way. Almost too big of a scoop there. He's putting a little too much power into it. Um, on the scoop, you just have to give just the right amount. He's a huge scoop here, does a full spin. Now this one he tops out, he goes on the top of the wave. Um, it is important to stay balanced. He's, as you can see, wa waving back and forth. His, his whole body is swaying around. He's not staying tucked down low, and that's throwing him off balance. Here's a couple of my early ones that I did do successfully. This one I wasn't leaning forward far. I would get kind of stand up right after, watch me stand up. Oh, look, I'm standing up. See, if I'd stayed lower, um, I'd probably be back in the wave, and my scoop wasn't quick enough and fast enough. You want to do a quick turn, quick scoop, getting you right back in the wave as fast as possible. The longer your turn, the more likely you're going to get washed out of the wave. Um, also, my feet weren't, pr they are more in the center. You should be more closer to the edge. So that one, I didn't do that bad. I actually <laughs> I missed that one. We have Chrissy here. Uh, she's not scooping nearly at all, and that's why she's not spinning a lot. She's just putting kind of one hand softly in, and she also has to turn your board. You have to more, make a more conscious e effort to turn that board. Here's Hank again. Uh, again, huge scoop. Um, he's regular, so he's going on the other side of the wave. He's staying low now. He's, he's, he's not wobbling so much on the top, and he had to remember to paddle. Paddle, 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 paddle. Paddle, 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 paddle. It. That was a successful one. Super happy about that. All right, well, please uh, give me a thumbs up, comment, like if you like this. And if you are trying to do this yourself, please record yourself, put it up on YouTube. I'd be happy to take a look, see if I can give you any suggestions or comments. I'm by no far no expert, but I've gone through a lot of the pains. So I hope I can help you out as well in doing a successful 360. Good luck.